Hi, I'm John Britt. Today I'm going to make a funnel for a pour over coffee like these right here. These are uh, like a, just a funnel shape and then I trim a little ridge in there so it would like fit on a cup and have a couple holes in the bottom. Alright, so let's uh, come over here. I'll do about, I do my normal size about a pound here. Get that down. I'm going to center that real quick. And then I set my base up about that big. I'm going to leave about a quarter or three eighths of an inch at the bottom so I can um, trim under, maybe a half inch, depending how much you wanted to trim. Just let it funnel out, sort of, instead of coming straight up like a cylinder. Okay, so then I'll. I left myself a ridge there at the bottom, as you can see. Like down here, I've left a ridge so that um, I can fit it on the cup or on whatever we're setting it on. And then I'll use a rib here. Okay, so that's basically what I'm going to do. Then I would let that sit up a while and get kind of stiff. Then I'm going to trim a little. So I'll take one of these pots that I made yesterday and we're going to trim that. I have a damp cloth that I wash my hands off with so I don't get dusty. Then I'll take a uh, center that a little, start, you know, trimming this back, establish where I want a little ridge to be, which I'm going to essentially make it like about right here, cut that back, and so, basically, that's all you would do. Make that, you know, you fuss with that a little, get it the way you want. You know, if the next time, if you didn't make it deep enough, you could make one, make it about a half inch instead of mm, three eighths deep here. But then I would just come in here with either my um, fettling knife like this, make some holes, or sometimes I'll use a drill bit. Uh, and you can make, you know, make a pattern or make slits, whatever, whatever you want. Uh, and so that's that. Then what I'm going to do is it's possible to take this and put a handle on it. Some people like a handle on the side here. So I've got me a little slab that I've pulled. And I'm going to locate a spot on here. Usually I just mark it and score it a little. Score down here where it's going to sit. Push that on pretty good. Not a lot of pulling with this, just a little bit. So I'll wet that up a little. Then I would set that into place. Depending on, you know, you, you got to decide how you want it to look. But that's be about it. Now I have a funnel for pour over coffee.